It's me, Insane Reparoo, also known as Jazzy, and this shit has been flooding my recommended page, so I will be talking about it. But I did find this TikTok while doing research, and it does explain a lot of the Sniper Wolf and Jack's film situation. Basically, the beef that has been going on for a long time has risen to a new point where... Basically, Sniper Wolf is doxing this man now. And I'm sorry for my voice. It's just, it's literally 2 in the morning and I'm recording this. Took me a few tries to get here, okay? So don't judge. But with that being said, I am going to show the clip so that everyone can get caught up that hasn't already got caught up on the story. Sniper Wolf has finally apologized to Jack's Films. So for those who don't know what's going on, let me quickly explain. Sniper Wolf and Jack's Films are both YouTubers who do not like each other at all. Well, their distaste for each other recently came to a head when Sniper Wolf posted this to her story. Basically, she asked if she should go to Jack's Films' house, and then in the next story, she shows what is allegedly his house and essentially makes his address public. Well, since this incident, many people have been calling for Sniper Wolf to be taken off of YouTube. And it took them a while, but YouTube has finally responded to this whole situation, saying that they've temporarily demonetized Sniper Wolf, and they condemn the behavior that both Sniper Wolf and Jack's films have exhibited so far. Now, Sniper Wolf also just released a statement on the whole situation, basically apologizing to Jack's films, thanking YouTube for holding her accountable, and she calls the whole situation on her end a lapse of judgment. Now, people aren't really happy with either Sniper Wolf or YouTube's response to the whole situation, with big creators like Jax Films basically saying that both sides were not in the wrong, only Sniper Wolf was. But what do y'all think of this whole situation? So that video was basically explaining the whole drama, including the fact that this woman literally doxed this man, and literally showed his house but she did blur out the house but still like why are you posting people's houses on instagram why they didn't give you permission to do that shit which it kind of pisses me off at the same time because like they've been having beef for a while right when they simply could have just came to some sort of agreement I mean, there's beef on YouTube all the time, but nobody ever wants to talk shit out. Like, that's not the exception, right? So, basically, after a long line of fighting and doxing and all that, Sniper Wolf actually released an apology. Surprising, right? And it wasn't a fucking ukulele like Colleen Ballinger. Which, that's another story for a completely another day. But, you know, she basically got temporarily, I cannot speak, temporarily demonetized on YouTube so she cannot make money right now. And, honestly, I think she deserves it, though. Because, why you gotta be such an a-hole about a situation that could have been talked about in private and like private DMs and shit. Or y'all could have even met civilly at his house instead of like going to his house without permission. Like like that's the thing. They literally live like five miles away from each other and they or actually Sniper Wolf kind of could have just asked if she could come to his house and like talk like just talk face to face like as real people and not just people typing on a screen and i don't really understand the whole doxing thing because i don't get it you have to be mentally ill to Literally post someone's house where they reside. Where they fucking reside. Like, that shit should be private. It should. And for those of 
you who are watching that think it's okay to dox people. It's not. I don't care how many times I joke around about doxing people in this video. You should not do it regardless. That That is just really fucking dangerous. And you don't want to play with fire. You don't. Because you might get burned. Like, I know doxing jokes exist. But, like, actually doxing someone and then going to their house. Like, that's crazy. But even the jokes, like, the jokes are terrible. Like, it's just like, hey, I'm gonna come to your house without your permission. Like, that doesn't sound fun. That literally sounds like I'm gonna get kidnapped, I'm gonna get unalived or something like that. So no, I'm not falling for that shit. Regardless on how Sniper Wolf felt at the time, felt at the time, she should have not had taken so much of an aggressive act towards Jack Snowms. She literally could have talked civilly. Silv- I can't even fucking speak. What is wrong with me? They could have had a civil discussion about the situation. Instead of her just like, hey, I'm gonna post your house. But hey, I'm gonna act like the victim and act like you harassed me. Because that's what she did. She acted like the victim. And nobody should be victim blaming themselves. Like, that's just not okay in a serious situation where you actually did commit a crime. That's what Sniper Wolf did. She committed a crime. She doesn't want to admit it. Like, bro. The apology, like, sounds fake to me as well. It just sounds like it's un- like, it's not genuine. Like, that's the thing about YouTube apologies. They never sound right. They always have to be trash. Like, I feel like you can tell when someone's not, like, being completely truthful and- I feel like that's how I feel when it comes to Sniper Wolf. She's, she, like, simply lies too much. It's giving Pinocchio. And honestly, I'm not here for it. I'm not here for doxing. I'm not here for any of that. I'm not here for literally putting someone's life in danger. Like, that's on a serious note. No, I will not be doing that to someone and nobody will be doing that to me. But anyways, I kind of just wanted to give my personal opinion on the situation. And if you guys enjoyed, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And turn on the notification bell so you will be notified when I post. With that being said, I'm going to go. Bye.